Hi there everyone. In this video, we are going to automate things with Python. So let's get started. Okay. So we are going to use our ID or any editor. So I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. You can use anything. Now I'm going to create a file. Okay. So I'm going to create a file. So step one, download Selenium package. To download Selenium package, just go to this website and see that installation file and you can install Selenium by using pip install Selenium. So I'm going to open my command prompt and paste it here and install it. Okay. So I have already installed it. If you have not, it may take some time. So from Selenium import web driver okay now we are also going to import time package okay so in this video we are going to log into our web application using python so we need a website so so obviously we are going to use facebook.com okay now here the url is web facebook.com so step two, we are going to download Chrome drivers. So what is this Chrome driver? Simply to use our uh, web browser or to, in to interact with our web browser, we are simply going to need a driver. Okay. So web driver dot Chrome. Okay. So we need a driver. So go to this website and download the Chrome driver. If you are a window user download this if you are a Mac you can download this one okay if you have downloaded it go to your fo download folder okay and extract it so it will give a exe executable file okay just cut it and paste it in your folder okay now if I go to our terminal and list it we are going to find our chrome driver here okay just copy it and paste it here now we are going to go to our website so driver.get url okay just save it now if i run my script pa.py It is going to open it and go to the website www.facebook.com so it is working so we are using our chrome driver so that our chrome chrome can be opened by using python okay so that's why we are using this driver okay now you can see that our website may take some time to load so till that time we are going to make our script sleep okay now what we are going to do is we are going to fill this form okay to fill this form we need to have a unique identifier to identify this one and this one okay so to identify this simply right click and click inspect okay now use this button here this tool and click on this form or input tag okay so if you are a web developer or if you know html you can use it you can you may find it easy okay so whenever i click this input tag or a form you can see that it highlights something here okay so here we have something like type is equals to name classes class is equals to input text and name is equals to email and here we have this id so we are going to use this id to identify this input tag okay so just copy this id okay now go to your visual studio and write driver dot find underscore element by id okay so the id we are going to use is email let me paste it okay now what we are going to do is we are going to click here so we are going to click okay now we need to insert some values in that form okay so driver dot 
find underscore element by id so the id here is email and we are going to send some value so send underscore keys of here we are going to use email so that would be username you may fill it with your own username or you can use a list of usernames and paste it here okay so i'm simply going to use here some dummy value okay so username is a dummy value the next thing is we are going to add some gap here so time dot sleep of one okay this is selected now we are going to select this password field okay so simply use this again and click here so you can see that the id here is pass okay just copy it and write driver dot find and write here pass and click okay so we are going to insert our password so driver dot find element by id pass and click here and send some values here okay send underscore keys of your password okay password now take some uh, put some gap here okay now you have selected this one and this one now we are going to use this login button to so simply use this tool and click on this button okay see this here the id is ua underscore okay u underscore zero underscore a okay just copy it and write here driver dot find underscore element by id and put here the id and just click the button okay now let me save it and run my python script okay python pa dot py okay now it is going to open my browser chrome browser and click on our this id and this id so it is filling our form okay see so it is working here so let me put some real values okay so i'm going to change username to my email id and password okay let me save it and run my python script so it is going to open my browser and click on this uh, email or phone okay it is working and it is going to click the login button okay so this is how you are going to automate things with python okay i hope you have find this video useful so if you like my video thumbs up and subscribe to my channel have a nice day. Bye-bye.